You're listening to Kapow, the pop culture podcast. Comics, television, movies, and more. If it impacts fan culture, we have something to say about it. And now, your hosts, Jordan, Cliff, and Seth. All right. Okay. So, and, and I think you could release this as a short of us creating our characters. Okay. So, that's a, that's a big intro here. We're going to create some characters for the uh, game called Kids on Bikes that I am creating a scenario for us to go through these guys to play i brought jesse in as a guest because i think i know he's like stranger things and he he get it and he's played these guys have you know cliff has never played a role-playing game uh jordan has very limited experience with it and i think jesse will help me drive it along i think this is a a very good system very this is the simplest system i know and it is also uh, a good you know, it's set in the 80s, so I think these guys, I mean, love the 80s like the rest of us here. So, uh, you know, they'll be able to draw from that. You gave me an awful lot of dice for a simple game. Okay. Well, I agree. We're, we're well, just learning about the dice, Jordan and yeah, I, tonight. Those dice, th- I gave them a set of polyhedral dice that are used in Dungeons I mean, and Dragons. I mean, six, six sides, that's... That you've seen. That's where I've been. I've never <laughs> gone past six. Oh, well, man, you, ain't, you haven't lived. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> But these six <laughs> dice that can get very complicated in a D and D game can be very simplified in a game like this. So, the first thing I want to ask you guys, I I had given you a put a feeler out there and just was wanting you to think about maybe you know who you would be, what type of character you would be in the mid eighties. Um, so, what what I kind of said you could go for something tropey, you know, mm-hmm. just to start off. You don't have to be a trope. But just to give you an idea of what you're kind of setting up, and it can morph as we talk about this, your character. So, um, I'll just start with you, Cliff. What, what do you What do you think? What type of character would you like to be? I am thinking I'm going to be a rebel slacker. A rebel slash slacker. Yes. Okay. So, uh, I like it. I like it. So, what? Uh, how old are you? Oh gosh. Um. Do we have to be under a certain age? Uh, you're riding bikes. Uh, okay. I think I think I like uh, no I driver's say, license. You have different yeah. benefits. You have different benefits if you're a teenager versus not a teenager. I I feel like you don't want to get too up in the teens. Okay. Uh, I, you know. I'm with you. Okay. The so kids, let's kid, kids are fun time here. You know. Let's say twelve. 12, uh, honestly, 12 is the perfect age, but I'm not going to hold you to that, you, you guys. So I love that you picked 12. Cliff is 12. So he's a rebel slacker. And, um, anybody yep. else have any ideas for the kind of character they want to be? They're like a... Uh, uh, you can be anything you want to be. Uh, 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 you know, like a, a techie kind of guy, like a... Oh. Little... A techie yeah, like guy, a, okay. You're yeah. good with the electronics. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, I'll do the. Um, I'll so be. Are you, are you super smart? Are you brainy? Yeah, or are you like, just nerdy? Or what? You don't I'll have go, to be all those things. I yeah. I'll I'll be the the nerdy tech dude. All right. Nerdy not not super dude. not super smart, but just smart enough to be like okay. Well, I kind of know how to. Might do be things. able to finagle something. Right. Right. Yeah. What about and you? And I'll Jordan? be. I'll be 13. 13, okay. What about you, Jordan? Oof. So, I can't have superpowers, right? No. <laughs> but you're you not, could be you're like... You're not 11. You could be like super athlete guy. Yeah. So, um, yeah, is this aspirational? Is this who I want to be? What do you want to play? Just like, should you I know? be... This was what I really was. Yeah, I mean, it's all what is going to be more fun for you to play. That's my thing. It's like you can do something that you're not, or you can just try to play what would be easiest to relate to. I do not care. Um, you can yeah, be a bully. Ooh. I mean, so uh, yeah. Somebody, let's see. You, you, you got what would you, we, I and think... we also have to weigh what we have. You know, we got rebel slacker. So 
Who do you equate that to? You know, like if you were looking at an '80s movie, who would that be? Uh, that would be um, uh, Breakfast Judd, Club. Judd, Hirsch. Judd, Judd, yeah, Judd, Judd Nelson. Judd Hirsch. Judd Nelson, yeah, you got Judd Hirsch. Yeah. <laughs> Crap, yeah. that, that makes me Anthony Michael Hall. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Jesse, who would you? Who's a the nerdy techie guy? Who, uh, who, who, who are we like, vibing here? Yeah, you're a very young Judd Nelson. <laughs> right, you're, you're much younger. You're maybe a, I'm carrying you. around candy cigarettes, yeah. not the yeah. real thing. <laughs> <laughs> you might you might have stole your your parents' cigarettes. You smoke You could be smoking when you're twelve. It's a banner year. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I I'm just I trying to be... get everybody to get feel who we're talking about. Cause it's gonna be easier right. if you if you know who you're relating to. It's easier to create your character here. And... I want to be like Edward Furlong in Terminator Two. Oh, okay. So you're uh, not and... super. You're not a a nerd, right? Like, I, I, you're not yeah, a geek. I, 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 kind of a cool. You uh, just have a, you just have some skills here, you know. You would yeah. know how to fix your bike, you know, and things like right. that. Yeah, so right. That furlong, I like that. Okay, Jordan, so what do you? What I do you will feel? be eleven years old. I'll be the young, younger. Okay, one. okay, I love I'll it. I'll be love kind it. of the the sheltered kid. Okay. Who hasn't seen the world like these guys have? Okay. We can flush that out as we go. Can you think of anybody that in? Any of these 80 movie, 80s movies uh, that you think? As you're thinking about that, let's also discuss how do you know each other? Are you just neighbors? Do you live near each other? Mm. Well, they got friends of convenience. That's usually who I was running around with at that time. <laughs> or, or or are you, uh, do you live far, you know, pretty far away from each other? Um, it's going to be make a difference as how, how easy yeah. it is to get okay. near each other in this world, you know. Whether you live yeah. next door, or do a couple of you live near each other, and somebody else oh, is from away, or are you guys, any of you, somebody related, related, or you know, or it's, you whatever you shared a to cabin at sleepaway camp, or whatever. <laughs> I, I always picture, yeah, you know, I, I, I picture us being neighborhood friends. I, I, okay. That's that's my thing. I mean, I like a little suburb uh, or a little cul-de-sac, and. Uh, you know, ride the bus together and yeah i like it there you yeah go. so you guys are uh, jesse's saying you're from the same neighborhood so kind of friends of convenience you grew up you know each other so maybe you're not best friends uh all of you you know kind of just you just run together because it's easy yeah and uh, you A become little, friends uh, stand you by some, me ish yeah yeah you've got some uh common interests you know mm-hmm. that you like riding your bikes Maybe you guys, yeah. Uh, uh, I I am Sean Aston. Sean Aston, okay. Maybe you will come out of your shell here, okay. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so now let's uh, let's develop this character a little more here. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna use those dice, and here are your stats. I want you to write down these six stats, and I will tell you what they mean. I find that paper here. Oh, sorry. Okay. Your stats are brains. Uh, that would be basically how book smart a character is. How well you understand problems, how how well you do in school, and how quickly you're able to solve academic problems. So just what you think brains are. Uh, The second one would be brawn. Now this is just brute strength. This is can you lift that? Can you push that door open? How much physical damage can you take? It's not necessarily how much, how well you are at like dishing it out, but you're just, you got a good constitution. Uh, the third one is fight. That's how well you can dish it out. You may be scrawny, but you can whip ass, maybe. Yeah. It determines how good a combatant is, uh, how good you are with uh, weapons or fighting skills. Um, you you wouldn't necessarily be able to pick up 
so, something you've never used before and be able to use it well, but you could quickly learn or you have you are good with a weapon that you carry around maybe with you all the time. Um, you know, I'm not saying necessarily, but uh, I would think the most likely to have a weapon is Cliff. Yeah. As the rebel slacker, he may have that switchblade in his pocket um, or whatever. It could be any number of things. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, the fourth stat is flight. It's how speedy you are. You know, how good are, are you at evading your problems, both literally and figuratively? You might, uh, be hard to trap, uh, physically or verbally. Um, charm. It's basically your charisma. Can you talk yourself out of a situation? Um, Good, good with the parents, you know, with the your, you know, the neighbor kids' parents. You, oh, she just love uh, Jesse's mom just loves you, you know, <laughs> type thing, you know. Um, Eddie Haskell. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the last one is grit. This is your street smarts. Who's able to keep a level head in the worst of situations? Uh, keep their cool and pushed hard. Street smarts, you know. You kind of get that. So. You are going to, and we'll talk about this, what makes the most sense. Now that you've developed an idea of who your character is. Yeah, I picked a character that has none of these. Right, okay. <laughs> well, but not necessarily. Let's see. It's the average Let's man. make the other character. Let's start with a different character that's easier. Let's start with Cliff. I think it's going to be the easiest to build out of this. So um, you're going to assign these dice to each of these. So, so in a normal game, you would have like a modifier and da da da, roll these dice or whatever. In this, you're just going to say, whatever your number one skill is of these, that's your 20 sided die. Mm -hmm. You're going to have the ability to roll the highest on that. So, what do you think is your number one thing? A brains, brawn, fight, flight, charm, and grip? I think it's fight. Fight. Okay. So, you think he is. He's been in some fights. He's, yeah, he's, he's a scrapper. He's a rough. He's a rough customer. Right. So you you are putting your twenty in the yeah. fight by fight. Okay. Um. After that, you have. Uh, what do you think it is? Whatever or where you could think. What's your least? What is uh, my academic least? academic brains? Is that maybe your least? Yeah. Or um, uh, or you know, I mean, to me that kind of seems yeah. like the. Obviously, yeah. so that put would your be four. That would be your four. four. Okay, would be brains. All right. Doesn't mean you're stupid. You're just not right. academically smart. Yeah. Um. So the grit, the grit would be higher than the brains, like street smart. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. To me, to me, you know, I, I'm not gonna tell you. What do you think is is next after fight? So after so it to me it could it could be a little it could be flight. Because you could be fast if he's yeah. scrappy. If I'm scrappy and quick and yeah. good enough, is fight. he some? But is he someone that's going to run or is he going to fight? Right. Um. So it could be grit, like you said, or I feel like it could be charm too, a little bit. Yeah, you know, good. he's a rebel slacker kind of get cops that attitude, but is smart enough to like kind of charm somebody a little bit. But overall, I think I'm going to go with grit. I think that. Fits I think the that's best. the right. I love that. Okay. Because so... you got you kind of can't my thing is again, we're being a little trippy and there's only so many ways to spread this around. Yeah. I think you know that makes the most sense for this character. So we're doing So I put twelve by that. Okay, You're 12. Put twelve by that. All right. I got you. Um okay, then uh your other three you have flight, brawn, and charm. Okay. So you're so... not you're pro you know, yeah, go ahead. So what what are the point levels we have where the uh, you have left um, ten, eight, and six. Ten, eight, and six. So I'm gonna put flight as mm, mm. as six. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna put brawn at ten. Okay. And charm at eight. Okay. Now. Before we move on, are we right. picking names tonight? Do we need yes. a name? Okay. You don't have to, but I'd be great if you had a name. Okay. At what point are, do you want me to do that now? You, can, you got a name? Give it to me. Okay. I'll admit, I know nothing about this stuff. I didn't know about the dice. I didn't. I don't know You're how fine. these games work. So I took 
like midnight last night. I just kind of Googled it real quick. Oh, okay. Just I noticed give when me, you said Rebel Slacker. Yeah. Like, that, that d- sounds like give me a little touch. idea. I watched about eight minutes of a video of of people doing a very similar thing to what we're doing right now. So that okay. may be just a step ahead. Now, Jesse okay. has experience, but Jordan hasn't really done this either. So I thought two things. I thought I better find a trope that will work, I hope. And the other thing is I might need a name. Okay. So okay. the name has to be the fun part. I come up, <laughs> I came up with uh, the name Sam. Jambon. <laughs> Spell <A>. that. <laughs> Sam, just S A M. Jambon, spelled J A M B O N. And the reason I did is because my character, he's a rebel, he's a slacker. So he wouldn't want to go by his government name, right? So you got to have a cool nickname. So okay. Sam Jambon, aka Ham Sandwich. <laughs> Ham sandwich. <laughs> jambone ham like, sandwich. Jambone like the ham. Wow, do I feel unprepared. And <laughs> <left in the laughs> oh, this is, yeah. I love it. Okay. That's good stuff. Great Jesse, stuff. Let, Jesse, let's work on you and let, let, <laughs> let Jordan take this in. <laughs> okay. So you're uh, Edward Furlong type. All right. Uh, right, which it, which paints a picture. So where do you think your twenty sided die should go? I'm gonna go with. I mean, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna be brains heavy. Oh, okay. So I'll go with That's brains. Twenty. Okay, that'll be my twenty. He's probably is good at school, but he doesn't spread it around. All right, right. Um, as for my, so next up would be a twelve, right? Yes. So 12 is going to be flight. Okay. Eight will be fight. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I got to talk about 10, right? We got a 10 side die, right? Yeah. 10 will be grit. Ten will be grit. Okay. Eight will be flight. And then six will be brawn. And then four will be charm. So he's, he's not exactly, he's, he's not worried about being liked. Okay. Uh, but you know, he can get the job done. He's a he's a tech like savvy it. dude. Now that yeah, those all work. Um and we'll talk more about that. So now when Jordan, you make yours, you can kind of see where you're kind of a blank slate as the sheltered kid. You know, you could be the things that they are not, you know. You Yeah, I, I wouldn't pick like brains as my top one because we got okay. somebody with the brains. Yeah. What what do you think you would want? Well, I put grit last since I'm okay. I don't so know. The, I don't know the street. Okay, right. I I love it. That makes the most sense. Um. So maybe I'm really strong. Maybe I'm. Maybe uh, I'm yeah, like you could be a strong kid. kid. A strong kid. Yeah, that, I'm just a kid. Yeah. I got powers that are untapped. Yeah, you may you may really pay off. They'll be like. Not expecting. Yeah, what you can yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. He's got the element so give of surprise. Me, give me brawn at the top. It's twenty. Okay. You could all. You could be uh, charming and be able to talk. Like parents probably like you better than that's what I'm of thinking. These guys. I, yeah, the, I could talk to cops. Yeah, the parents and and like you would be the very me. like uh, straight laced guy that they. They feel like you're actually listening to them, you know, maybe. Yeah, so I give like me that. 12 charm. Love it. Ten brains. Makes sense. Uh, so I would probably run before I would fight. I agree. I think you so, you nailed it. I think so you nailed eight this character. Eight flight, six fight. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I think we are feeling who this character is now. He's got us. He's, you know, he, maybe he's probably not even wearing jeans. He's got like khaki. Yeah, I'm, I'm wearing yeah. chinos. <laughs> I'm wearing corduroys from the husky section. <laughs> <laughs> he's got. He's got. Yeah, rough, rough tough skins on. With it, you know. yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, do either of you have uh, any kind of name thoughts or anything? You don't have to come up with that yet. But think about it this week. Um, I don't know my name. Okay, how about this? 
Yeah. I don't know my. I'm not sure what my Christian name is, but. Oh, here we go. I want to be a drummer. Okay, you're a drummer. And I want people to call me Sticks. <laughs> you want people to call you Sticks. Nobody ever will. But no one has. will call you Sticks. But I, I keep hinting that people should call me Sticks. Yeah. But nobody will. Sticks, whatever your last name is. Yeah, yeah. Sticks, Sticks Johnson. Come on. Why? No, it's Sticks Johnson. I love this. This is great role playing stuff where you okay. are constantly, whenever anyone introduces yourselves, you're like under your breath. Stick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you uh possibly let's while we're thinking about this just uh you will uh have some you know certain things on you would you obviously you have drumsticks on i've you. got drumsticks in the back of my chinos yeah absolutely he is carrying drumsticks uh, which can be used a multitude of uses for those drumsticks um okay this is great uh <laughs> So let's see what's what else I can ask you here. Okay, we well, learn how you kind of know each other now. Look, how you're a? Uh, are did we decide if either of you any are you guys all just know each other or are either of you a pair of siblings, like older brother, younger brother? It doesn't have to be. I'm just saying. Like yeah, I'm trying I, to figure out how, how how I feel like how that Jordan got out of the house. A little bit. <laughs> I don't know. It, it sometimes it can simplify it, you know. Mm. Honestly, if we have less houses, oh, um, okay. Um, like I could see uh, Jordan Sticks being uh, your younger brother that you just like. I can't believe he's here. <laughs> or maybe you have a different idea. Like, uh, does anybody uh, know what their parents do? And you have a, a broken home. I, I could see mm. Cliff having a broken home. Definitely yeah. double wide or maybe single wide trailer. Uh, oh boy, situation <laughs> this is, going on. This, yeah, call, this, this cul-de-sac this is call- getting interesting. <laughs> yeah, it certainly is. Burned out cars in the in the. Uh, you know, there's there's a random car seat on the front porch type of deal. Oh okay. wow! Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, anybody else have any ideas of their? Uh, home situation do you have any siblings or step siblings so okay my my dad is a computer programmer okay all right uh works for the school oh okay i, <laughs> I like it how, i don't know how much how much work he's getting there but he's, he's <laughs> like the it guy yeah um, he's i mean this is one of the first guys that, with the computer here in the 80s he's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, he works at the school. That's good. Yeah, Got a connection yeah. at the school. Mom is a uh we'll say mom's a substitute teacher. Oh, okay. So and that's how they met. Oh, uh yeah. and how they have let's see, do I have any kid or do I have any siblings? Like did, uh, yeah, did, did did one of them uh is one of these a step parent that uh, came in with another kid or anything I, I, no no we, we won't no? do any step parents okay. um, okay. i'll have a i'll have a small i'll have a small sister okay um sister three or four years old whatever okay four-year-old sister what's her name home home situation i mean uh, it, they get along just fine uh okay. dad's a little involved in his work you know he's he's, he's uh, but the classic 80s family here it sounds right. like uh what's your sister's name uh well uh, Twilight. <laughs> Twilight. So your parents were hippies. There might have been some drugs involved. Okay, your parents were hip. Mom was a hippie back in the day. Okay, so which is going to it's going to put some more pressure on my name. Like, what am I name? Oh, what I can't name? wait <laughs> to hear. Oh yeah, I bet you love your name. Um, it's no ham sandwich. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay, so. See what? what uh, let's see. What about? And if anybody, you guys think of anything else with your families or whatever, it does not have I'm, to be complicated. Yeah, just, I'm thinking. I just like to know it for. There, there's no dad is gone, right? Dad skip town. Yeah, skip Definitely. town. Dad, that makes a lot of Mo- sense. Mom's a waitress, works triple shifts. A lot of jobs. She works a lot of jobs, so she's b- rarely home. Yeah, you have to fend for your. You have to fend for yourself, right? So, so basically, this this house just basically anything goes. Yes, that's you got. I it. like it. Pro- I probably carry a lighter 
Carry a lighter. Okay, a lighter is one of your items. Yeah. I like it. Zippo? Sure. Well, okay, it's up to you. Is it just a, a Bic nothing? No, it's, it it's got to be... Maybe it's your like, dad's Maybe it's your dad's, dad's lighter. Left, it's found it in your mom's jewelry yeah. box, yeah. and she said you could have it, or you just and took you it. you stole it, yeah. See, there, we figured it out. We're killing it here. <laughs> okay. Um, I've got a single mom who never leaves the house. Or a, I mean, oh. sorry, I was sorry, a stay-at-home mom. I meant stay-at-home stay mom. Yeah, stay-at-home mom yeah. never leaves the house. And dad is, I'd say he's a reporter, like a newspaper Ooh. guy. I like it. Oh, so he keeps up on like what's going on with the, yeah. the news. What is the yeah. happenings in this town? But very traditional. Dad works nine to five. Mom stays and cooks and cleans. Like I'm it. the oldest of the siblings, so I was very raised very strictly. Very traditional uh, conservative family. Okay. What? How many siblings do you have? Uh, how many do I need? I, you just said you're the oldest, so you have to have at least one. <laughs> give me two. Give me two. Two younger siblings. And one imaginary one. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will. Okay, that's good for now. Um, now let's see. Uh, what do you carry around, Jesse? You have anything? Uh, I'm trying to think of what a little nerdy tech guy would have back in the 80s. Uh, he's definitely got a calculator. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, calculator watch. A watch. Yes, I was just about to say he's got a <laughs> he's got a one of those Sony. Definitely. Or uh, yeah, those little. It might it we might know even. What talking about. Yeah, yeah, it might even yeah. Yeah. Um. And uh, he chews gum a lot. Chews so gum. He's, chews yeah, gum. he's got a lot of gum. It's a bazooka type deal. Oh, bazooka Joe. Yeah. Hmm. I like that. He's constantly opening those single wrapped bazookas because <laughs> you can get them for a penny a piece. That's what right. Was and, the, and, uh, what was the gum in the pouch? That's that's a big league chew. Big league yeah. chew. Mm. I just I popped like in my great, head. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so. I want to change my name to Big League Chew. <laughs> 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 yeah, big league, big league sandwich. Uh, <laughs> but you don't have a name yet. So, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, it's stick shaker sticks. I forgot. <laughs> I can't wait. To, uh, yeah. Um. And well, you have to have like a super nerdy name then that they keep calling introducing right. you as right. Brian or well, that's that's us uh, too. Breakfast Club. Percival but, uh, Pickens or something like that. Conrad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Conrad, um, but your mom calls you Connie. <laughs> Connie, <laughs> mom, it sticks. I told you. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'll go with Conrad. Okay, Conrad, Connie, gotcha. I love it. Okay, now well, we were killing it. Let's see. We did that. Did that. Did that. Uh, Conrad Campbell. Conrad Campbell. Oh, the alliteration. Oh, the whole family. Everybody in the family has oh, that same yeah. K, K, K sound uh, for each of their names. You may find out later what those are. So, do you have... Let's skip over here to strengths. So, each of these will give you a modifier depending on what your strength is. I'm not going to tell you what they do necessarily yet. Uh, you see what, what jumps out to you. I'm going to read down the list. Okay. Are you... Cool under pressure, easy going, gross. Can you do some gross thing that, uh, like, you love to fart or something? Um, are you heroic? Do you ha are are you intuitive, loyal, lucky, prepared, protective, um, particularly skilled at some specific thing, uh, tough, treasure hunter unassuming or wealthy what what would unassuming be like okay the, I'll read, I'll nobody read nobody would uh, finger me for the you, uh you prime. could blend into the background okay. i i'm not fingering him <laughs> <laughs> we, we just i'm unassumed one, you just need one of these things uh let's start with one 
I forgot what they were already. Okay, I'm gonna read them again. <laughs> Just to jot down the ones that you think sound like your character, right. possibly. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'll tell you what they do, and you can decide upon them. So, cool under pressure, easy going, gross, heroic, intuitive, loyal, lucky, prepared, protective. Skilled at something in particular, tough, treasure hunter, unassuming, or wealthy. Like, I, basically wealthy, uh, you would have money like in a, like a normal kid isn't going to have money. I, kid, uh, I would say kids of your age could possibly have some pocket money if you can explain it. Uh, if you pick the wealthy thing, you have money like an adult. You are you're just like, it's like uh, not a richy rich situation, but you don't know money. You're not you normally have forty bucks in your pocket. Well, I, you know that's not weird to you. But I'm not saying pick that. I'm just trying to explain it. So do any of these jump out? What it, you know? What do you think, uh, Jordan? That particularly sounds like your character. Um, I. Either loyal, prepared, or protective. I'm not sure. Which okay, one. well, I'll read what they do. First, let me explain a, a rule thing here so that I can tell you how these affect them. Um, when you, like, I will stay, say, you say you, you're you going to tell me what you try to do. I'll give you, like, the situations. You tell me, hey, I want to try to do this. And I'll say, okay, well, give me a fight check or whatever. And, you you know, if you have to fight somebody or do something, you're going to roll that corresponding die but i'm going to tell you a number you have to try to get so let's say uh that you're going to get a fight and i said i said well you got to roll an eight or you know you're like i only can roll a six okay so say you rolled a five or whatever um you you miss it you can't you didn't do it so you whenever you fail a roll you can put a tally mark or something on your paper or you could have like physical things over there if you just had like a pile of pennies or something but you can give yourself a token to be used later so say you build those up you later when you roll a check you can spend those to make up the difference in the roll that you need to make so you fail 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 for a little while and then all of a sudden you've got what you need to make a roll so those are called adversity tokens that you will earn by failing a roll so you always get something even if you screw up. So what these things do, if you're like loyal, it says each of the adversity tokens you spend to help a friend, because you can't help someone else. If you are right next to somebody, you're trying to fight, and Jesse says, well, I'm going to jump in um, and kick the guy in the back of the leg while he's fighting him. Um, he he's going to he can spend his tokens i, I can to help give you. him extra tokens. Okay. yeah you, you can you can help each other in, in situations so yeah if you were doing that to help him you would get to you would you would get give him two it would be equal two instead of one okay now what other ones did you say prepared prepared that would be you may spend two adversity tokens to just happen to have a commonplace item that you need in the moment. You're like, oh yeah, in my pocket, I have that that thing we need right now. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. And what or else? Pro- protective. Protective would be when you're defending one of your friends, you get to add three to your roles, which that's pretty cool. Like wow. if you are, yeah, if you, all those, all those, I can see fitting my character. Yes. So I would say pick one at this time. What do you think, guys? Should I be prepared or loyal? I really, I my personal opinion, I like prepared. As yeah. a, that's the coolest one I heard. Yeah, uh, as like you need something in this moment. Oh yeah, well, but that doesn't mean it has to be your guy doing that or any, any of you. So you think about it. Yeah. You think about. I, I like that as you know. I I spend all my time at home and I've got you know. I yeah, I think things through. Okay. You're like we're going out to do what? Like I don't, okay. I don't, yeah. I don't announce it, but like, yeah. oh man, if we only had this, like, oh, I've got one of those. Like, yeah. I would be the quiet guy who wouldn't, wouldn't, yeah. you know, 
until it's needed, I wouldn't mention yeah. We need a ladle? Well, there was one laying on the counter when I was leaving the house, and I grabbed it just in case. Here it is. It's in my pocket. Um, okay. Uh, Cliff, did you hear any of those that made sense for your character? I wrote down lucky and tough. Okay. So let's look at lucky. This says that you may spend two of those tokens to just totally re-roll that, that test. So say you want you were in a what was your number one thing was a fight fight so say you're in a fight and you need a ten to hit this guy and you roll a two well you're never going to be able to spend enough adversity tokens to get up to ten but you could re-roll and get higher than that so that's a cool thing uh, that was lucky and the other one was tough okay it says if you lose a combat roll you can add plus three to the difference let's see you may still lose the roll no matter what but it could okay basically what this means sometimes you can lose by an amount that is going to be a major problem you know like you may use an item sometimes Mm -hmm. and if you use it and just really roll bad that item may break and you never have that item anymore you know, so this could like make up the difference in some situations. It seems more situational and not maybe going yeah. to be used as often. One of these powers yeah. involves math, and one doesn't. Right, right. exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I do like lucky though. I do too. So you want to do that one? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so lucky for Cliff. What about you, uh, dude? What do you tell think? me? Tell me about gross. Gross. You have some kind of gross bodily trick. Yes. Uh, something maybe loud or quiet or smelly. It's up to you. Uh, that you can do <laughs> on command. You can do this on command. <laughs> yes. All and right. I don't know what good it does you necessarily. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't list it out there? Honestly... You tell me what you're thinking of doing, and we'll see what we can come oh, up I with. Mean, my gosh. Um, <laughs> mm, I mean, I, I I'll tell you what. I I this you wanted to do this. This is a freebie. Uh, uh, we'll give you let you pick something else, but you also can do something gross. On Jesse, I doesn't. Jesse, what what was your on flight? What was your number? Twelve. I had 12. twelve, so that was a. Uh, that's the second. Yeah, that's yeah. the second. Most. I feel like there's some sort of combination of flight and like explosive diarrhea. Oh, it just God. works. <laughs> I, I, I feel more. This is stuff that he wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> to gross yeah, people out. I'd rather not shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> not saying it won't happen, but uh, but uh, what were you thinking? What, what, uh, what can uh, you okay. do? Well, I mean, um. Let's just say that I can. Okay, I, I'm gonna go with. I mean, we gotta go with farting here. I mean, okay. there's no other way around it's a it. I can, I can, I can do that on command. The '80s okay. were big on farting. There, there's yeah. things that can happen with. You know, you can work that into a situation. You know, I heard somebody has a lighter. Okay, so <laughs> uh, you, any other your inter- others you're interested in there, Jesse? Um, really good at bumping. unassuming. Unassuming. unassuming okay i like that this just basically means that you uh you may spend two until adver- you fart you're unassuming until <laughs> yeah, you fart. yeah 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 i can just see yeah exactly that. they maybe they won't smell your fart when, when... silent but deadly <laughs> <laughs> so this says you may spend two of those tokens to not be seen within reason so if you're uh, trying to i be like hit, that okay that's great so unassuming and gross. Um, let's see here. There's something else I was going to say about that, but we'll we'll work on it. If you guys think a, we may add, you may get another one here along the line. Um, now let's see my list here. Do you have any fears? What fear, rational or irrational, might your character have? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, I go with a fear of the dark. Okay. For a, a, another classic. We got hmm. 
afraid of the dark. He goes to stands in the dark, <laughs> shivers and farts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a techie guy. I like electricity, you know, and it just you know, maybe even like uh, we could even say like, uh, you know, a small fear of nature as well. Like I don't like not being around elect uh, lights and and yeah you like sound civilization you're all about yes. civilization yeah uh, so you want to get the lights on if so you know uh i like it so what about uh about you guys are you afraid of anything cliff yeah there's got to be something i mean it's got to be yeah. like you wouldn't admit to it but if it happens yeah you're, you know it's got to be like to be snakes. snakes or yeah. bugs or something snakes it's Why did snake. it have to They're, be snakes? the classics? Are like you know, uh, sna- uh, snakes or spiders, heights. Um, I don't know, I don't care, mm. whatever you guys think. What about you, Jordan? You thinking of got anything? I would be afraid of. I, I I keep getting in trouble, but I don't know how to. Oh, oh, like, authority. I'm of, yeah, I'm afraid of cops or authority or. Like, okay, of 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 uh, disappointing authority. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, I'm afraid of failure. I, I'm, oh, a, I'm a okay. I'm a go getter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, afraid of failing um, adults. Uh, I think makes sense. Just like you're more inclined to follow the rules type thing yeah, and succeed. Yeah. Um, so you may be thrown in situations that, uh, you're uncomfortable with. You may be at adverse, uh, wants to the rest of the people. Right. Cause and, I don't, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want right. to get away. Yes. Fear of getting in trouble. That makes the most yeah. sense. Yeah. You may, they may get you over that. Um, Cliff, did you come up with a specific thing? I'm going to say fear of drowning. Ooh, that's a good fear. Fear of drowning. I like that. Let's not even th- think about that. We may have a couple players. So do you have any, what you would consider flaws? And I will read a list of flaws and you see if any of these jumps out at you. Absent-minded, blunt, boastful, clumsy, conceited, cowardly, Deceitful, demanding, disloyal, disobedient, envious, flippant, gloomy, greedy, hot-tempered, ignorant, inconsiderate, insecure, irrational, neurotic, obnoxious, paranoid, patronizing, perverse, petty, picky. Um, nobody is allowed to be prejudiced. <laughs> um, uh, Resentful, reckless, restless, rude, secretive, self-centered, self-pitying, slovenly, superstitious, vain. Oh, that would be a good one. I like yeah. superstitious. That's I cool. do too. I jumped out of me. That's why I said it louder. <laughs> like, Ooh, superstitious. <laughs> uh, mine, I felt. Mine called to me as envious. Envious. Okay. Because I, I think I feel like every other kid has a better life than me, or they're all cooler, yeah. smarter than they're me. They're all so cooler, I, yeah. They're, yeah. So I, I am envious of all the other kids around. Okay. And their cool nicknames. Um. <laughs> what, what about uh, you, Jesse? Um, uh, I'll go with uh, let's let's do slovenly. Slovenly. Oh wow. Yeah, you're too busy uh, teching around. You don't take a bath. No, no, I might stink a little bit. Uh, Fart, and you're you, gonna you, you're gonna be unpleasant to be around. This is this kid. I, I will be the embodiment of a garbage pail kid. <laughs> but, but. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, do you think that you okay? You chew bazooka bubble gum. You have a calculator watch. I assume you carry around one of those mad balls. Oh yeah, you betcha. You okay. betcha. Absolutely. Uh, Cliff, did you have a flaw? Yeah, but I I thought of it, but then you kept reading, and then I forgot. Okay, it was something to do with about being rebellious. <laughs> okay. Um, there's reckless. There's re- there was uh, temp. I like maybe temper. I, that one of hot tempered temp- could tempered. be hot tempered. There's a who obnoxious. Um, 
reckless or yeah reckless could be yeah, yeah. these are really story focused it's more than just to get you in touch with your character like maybe mm-hmm. you can do something without thinking or uh there is a while you're thinking about that specifically rebellious is a thing now you don't okay. qualify for it really but i might give it to you um because that that's what the in between being a teen and basically between tw- 12 and under and 13 and higher are you uh Mm, I'm Technical. walking walking that line. Yeah, so like for instance, Jordan would not get rebellious, but he does get quick healing. So I'm going to mark you down for quick healing. Write that down, and that means you just not. not I mean, you recover from injuries more quickly. You're just made of rubber. You're brawny anyway. You've got the those rubber bones of a child. Don't suffer lasting effects from most injuries. You know, so you can take some heat. Um, I would say, let's see. Add a plus three. Yeah, I'll give you Rebellious Cliff just because it really goes with your character. Um, you know, you, you've got the Judd Nelson, but I really feel like it's almost a... Uh, what is his freaking name? The guy from... Um, Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman. Uh, yeah, like I'm thinking, like a uh, he just in some movies he was like the a, a rebellious type character. Like you um, know? Lost Boys. Yeah, yeah. Well, there. You know, I don't know. Or I don't like know. I'm dream, a little dream. I, dream a little dream. Dream a little dream. I kind of picture, but Goonies? he's a little older there. Yeah. However, you guys want. To okay. Think. It's your guy. I'm just okay. thinking. Judd Judd's a little old. But yeah, you're at 12 yeah. years old. Right. You're, you have to remember, you're not him. You're a 12-year-old. Mm. So, uh, but anyway, this will give you plus three to rolls when persuading or resisting people younger than you. So you can have a good chance of persuading, you know, Jordan to do what you want. Him mm-hmm. um, or resisting him persuading you. Or and resistance from adults, you know, you you're just not one to take advice. Yeah, yeah, I you're like gonna that. want to always do the opposite. Yeah, and that may get you in trouble. But that's mm-hmm. who your character is. It's all about playing that guy, whatever it gets, you, whatever kind of trouble it gets you into. Um, and uh, Jesse, which do you think makes more sense for you? I think I, I could see you just being. I don't know. I'm not gonna say it again. You. Say it again. You're either quick healing, or you don't. You're kind of rebellious. Yeah, you know, it's up to Ooh, you. I'll I'll do the rebellious thing. Like I I'd like okay. to hack the okay. computer and change my grade. Okay, I like thing. It. So you are rebellious, both of you. Uh... Okay. Now, let's see here. We got flaws. We got fears. Any of you guys have any, any other particular interests? Who, I, I would ask this. Which, which or all, all of you or none of you, doesn't matter. It's a, I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you that this is set, the only detail I'm going to give you, it's set in 1987. Who of you is watches movies do you are you guys pretty pop pop culture in tune i uh, can i expect there to be movie quotes uh between the kids like my my group of kids that, when I, that I ran with where we constantly quoting uh movies to each other uh use the force yeah, that right. kind of crap i feel like for a pop culture podcast we should we probably should do that. <laughs> yeah. who have you who have you uh actually gets out to the theater though see who sees it and then sees them in the theater who, cliff sneaks uh, in the back yeah, that's what i was going to say cliff sneaks in <laughs> i i you illegally if, download them <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if i'm watching them uh unless i'm watching them on betamax but uh that's about uh i mean uh, maybe I, you I, don't I'll, know the freshest movies but you're right you're I, I i i get them okay. just be a while after they get released that's all right there's plenty of fodder there. You may want to freshen up on that and be able to 
work some quotes in there, you know. <laughs> I I'm allowed to watch the G-rated ones. Oh, okay. So you're quoting Herbie. Uh, he only watches <laughs> Disney movies. Yeah. Dis- Disney, Mission yeah. Switch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right. So now let's see. Um, uh, anybody? Uh, was there any religion in your family? I would say uh, Cliff's family is not religious. Um, anybody Catholic? Do either of you come from a Catholic family? I mean, I, I wouldn't even know how to role play that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's a, you know, it's not that deep. You know, a real just does your family go to church on Sunday? Uh, I feel like you know, Jordan, your family. Yeah, go in there, we know, go but... multiple times a week. Yeah, oh my we, gosh, you! He's a Wednesday it, Sunday. Oh Wednesday, man! All right. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. I, my, so if there's yeah. an adventure on Wednesday night, I can't get I, it. I, that will come into play, <laughs> uh, no doubt. I just wrote it down. Uh, All right. We, we we get to it infrequently, every once in a while. Um, okay. Let's see. And are there any particular motivations? Do you have anything you you are motivated? But this is not something yet. Just think about that. And like I said, you've all got bicycles. So what are you riding? And that could be as simple as what color is your bike. But is uh, I'm sure you're not riding tricycles. So if you can, if you know what uh, brand or bike you're riding, but you could, you know, the typical thing is a BMX bike. But you could have a ten speed. You could have a cruiser. You know, I got I got a red Huffy with the banana seat. And the tin can and the spokes in the back. Okay. Red Huffy, banana seat. <laughs> tin I don't know can. how that. I can't wait to see how the banana seat's going to factor into whatever. There are stats way. for. There You're are stats, fart all there are stats for the <laughs> banana seat. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. Uh, what about I you really guys? did have a Huffy with red handlebars growing up, so that was the first thing I had. I had, I had a Wrangler with a banana seat. <laughs> what about you guys? What, what kind of bike you got? Uh, I don't think there's a brand because it's like a Frankenstein bike. It's either black okay. or it's just silver metal or a combination Which is of it? Both. black or silver metal. Oh, okay. I think it's black. Okay. Bray painted. Yes. You don't Bray. want to rust. So you, oh. you just got a can of spray paint. Spray painted that. Yeah, you you are definitely familiar with some spray paint cans. Mm-hmm. I guarantee it. BMX style, just just a regular yeah. twenty inch, yeah. twenty inch. Uh, and um, is there anything else special about your bike? Does it have any doohickeys on it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Do you um, hide anything in it like a? Hmm. <laughs> Does it have a basket? <laughs> no, probably not. It doesn't well, have a basket. What, but... what? What do you got, Jordan? No, what there thinking? is. What is like the safest bike a parent would buy a kid? I'm so I would be surprised if you didn't have a ten speed. I mean, yeah, uh, I, I don't know much about bikes. I, could, I mean, I don't know the difference between. I, uh, maybe you have a three speed. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those. those came out. But I, I you know, just say so you would have like the. I would think the. I probably have a helmet. No kid in the eighties had a oh, helmet. But you I, have I a probably helmet. have a helmet. Helmet. Wow. Okay. Uh, you don't have to have a 10 speed or whatever, but you know, whatever you want, you can have a BMX bike. I don't, you could have, uh, something more, more it's not cool. It's yeah, not cool. That's what I mean. It likely not a BMX bike. Yeah. Well, more likely you're looking in the banana seat type realm. Yeah, with, it was uh, bought through the Sears catalog. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I, I feel like mine has like, because it's a piece of junk, right? Right. So there's either like a air pump or there's like a set of wrenches like duct tape to the handlebars or something in the middle. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because it breaks all the time. Duct tape. So you can repair all the bikes. Yeah. You've got a kit that can well, repair. Well, we got jo- we don't want to thing is we don't want to take away what uh Jesse is the Mr. Fix it here. Well, that's true too. Uh, away, you know, so so I got Maybe one wrench. You got a wrench, but he knows what to, how to do a lot with it. How's that? He might be able to make more use of your wrench. 
Um, and maybe does somebody have like a flashlight like taped to their bike or attached or something? Yeah, mine would have like a bell and the, yeah, and got... the little light and the reflectors. Like it would have all the safety features. Okay. You got a bell. You have a first aid kit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy looking bike. Um, He's got yeah. one of those little kid carriers that he drags behind up full of shit. Oh, that's crazy. I'm, uh, what am I? I'm, I'm prepared. Yeah, that'd be a bit much. Be to, he'd never be able to keep up. But this, uh, are you, are you like a regular bike or 10 speed? I just need to, that makes a difference. Uh, let's, yeah. 10 speed, could it get away faster? Yeah, I'll 10 speed. Okay. Okay, so now I'll tell you what this stuff means here. Okay. For instance, we'll just start with Jordan's here. You got a 10 speed, so that means you... Oh, wait, what color is it? Uh, blue. Blue. That's what color my 10 speed was when I was a... Okay. Your 10 speed, you may shift into a lower gear... And pedal hard to add a D4 roll to your flight checks if you're on your bike. Yeah. You know, if it if it matters at the time. Mm. But you will suffer a little to your brawn in those moments after because you have to catch your breath. So, unlikely to come up unless you're getting chased or something. Um, then we have, you have a bell. If you can't explain in narrative terms how ringing the bell ha- helps anyone, <laughs> then by all means, you will get a plus one. <laughs> They'll get a plus one. Maybe you distract someone with your bell. Bang, get, bang, bang, get someone's bang. attention. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you got a first aid kit. Oh, Jordan, per, once... you, Jordan, you should have had Pee Wee Herman's bike. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> once per day, you can u- use your first aid kit to uh, help somebody out and maybe got hurt. And your bike is blue so that means trust you're trustworthy you gain plus one to charm checks so you can write that up by your charm where it says you're gonna roll a 12 you get plus one to any roll when you're around your bike (sighs) okay and then cliff Mm. yours is black so it's intense you get plus one to fight checks when you're on your bike nice um and boy you've got your wrench so you're going to be able to fix something or help fix something then we got let's see jesse your your bike is red Mm, that's right you're ambitious each right. adversity, each adversity token you spend during a check adds plus two to your roll instead of one, and that's that's very handy. So anytime you spend one of those, it's worth two instead of one. Boom, that's great. Okay. Red was the right color, I guess. And you have a banana seat. That's right. You can carry a passenger. Ah, uh, that's exactly. Somebody's what I bike envisioned. breaks or something once per day. Who wants to get farted on? <laughs> yeah, that's like the. <laughs> <laughs> that's great that's perfect uh, uh, and smell them they have to get right up, up close and yeah. personal and you have a tin can in your spokes so you get plus one if you are attempting to distract someone okay. on your bike okay so we did a lot of stuff there I think for the most part we covered it. If I, I don't want to drag it out. I think if uh, I think of anything else, you need to add to your character. If you think of an idea, um, if there's anything else you think you carry, uh, what did you guys decide you were carrying? You, um, you have drumsticks, drumsticks, and and you can just occasionally whip something out that you. Didn't necessarily know you had in your pockets. Um, Cliff, do you have a switchblade? You have a lighter. 
I have a lighter. I definitely have a knife. I don't know if it's a knife. A, okay, it's what twelve. Kind? So yeah, yeah. Maybe you have a pocket knife. Swiss pocket Army knife. knife? Pocket yeah. knife. He's not a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, you may have little... a Swiss Army knife. You know, if you're Mister Fix It, what do you have? Uh, I, well, let's see. Screwdriver, at least. Uh, yeah, um... we we're gonna have uh, uh some Allen wrenches. Yeah, uh, for for well, mm. that's not that's pretty specific. <laughs> that's build really some specific. furniture. We're gonna build some <laughs> TV stands, maybe some plus cases. one to coffee table uh, construction. Uh, uh, let's see. I mean, tool wise, I don't know if I. I feel like Jesse's got a backpack, maybe. Okay. You can have a uh yeah, so you can have a backpack. Uh, right. or a small, so I was thinking of like a, a fanny pack or something. Yeah, you could have a fanny pack. That could be where your mysterious oh, items come from. I like that. <laughs> from your uh, fanny yeah. pack. I, I that's, like that. that's pretty 87. I was I thinking like pocket protector pack. earlier, but now I definitely am feeling fanny, fanny pack. Fanny pack makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay. This is great. Um, Jesse, Jesse needs... Do you have a name? You need to come uh, yeah, up? Well, yeah, I came up with a name. I'll be Robert Page. Robert Page. Robert Page. I was going to suggest you come up with a name, go in down to Asylum, tell Jordan the name. We give it a week or two to the point where he forgets it and then makes up a, <laughs> another hilarious name. <laughs> okay. So, see if there's anything else. I don't see anything else that we have to do tonight. So, I'd like, uh, you know. Yeah, I want to change my name from Campbell to Clattenburg. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no, yes. No. 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 We'll just. Conrad it's already good. Clattenburg. Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anybody have a paper out or anything? How do you, if you do you have any money in your pocket? Why would you? That's because I didn't eat lunch. Mom sent me um, to school with lunch money, and I didn't eat lunch. Oh, okay. So you've got. We'll say less than ten dollars in your pocket. I am supposed to give an offering at church, but I maybe I don't always. Ooh, maybe, maybe oh I my don't. gosh! You th- what? You missed a flaw. Yeah, maybe maybe I don't always put it in the basket. Oh shit! This guy's dark. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. My okay. my Bible upstairs actually has a bunch of dollar bills that my mom gave me, and I just never put in the plate. They're in the pages <laughs> of the Bible. <laughs> okay, so church donation money. How much are you carrying around there? What kind oh, of walking? Not, not much, just a couple bucks, I'm sure. Oh no, your parents definitely freaking <laughs> slip put a twenty in the basket every Sunday, and they hand it down to you. They. They're yeah. like, give it. You're like, I want it. You hold it that time at church. Just kinda, and then they slip the basket in there, and you freaking sl- just, you just, you you're looking for a little and, excitement yeah. in your life. You palm yeah. it and, and pull it, it back. Yeah. So I've got a 20 that I did that. Yeah. And I, I'm too scared to spend it. Yeah. Because like, if you spend it, it then it, then you yeah. went the full then cycle. Then it's a sin. Yeah. <laughs> I've just, <laughs> just been carrying it around. Oh, my God. I love it. You guys, <laughs> been thinking see, you're about good at this. this. You know what you're doing. That's what I mean. You guys, you write stories. You guys have seen enough movies and TV and read enough things. You, <laughs> This is all in there. Draw from these stories and use this stuff. Okay. I feel like I got a roll of quarters that I got Ooh, by damn. Robin, by Robin, the Coke or the Pepsi machine breaking into it. <laughs> roll of quarters. That you you can load up in your hand in yeah. a fight, possibly. You're an arcade in this town. We gotta go we gotta oh. spend those quarters. Oh yeah, we may find an arcade. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we did it. We're we're done. If I have any other questions, I'll send them to you. I would really like, honestly, if you were available, Jesse, I would like, you know, in two weeks, if possible, you know, us for one of the things we do that night, play a first be session down, yeah. of this. You know, I think we don't have to play for a freaking long ass time, but you know, an hour and a half or so, and see where it goes and uh, um, stop. So, I'm just kind cool. of remind yourself before we get here who you are and what your what motivations are, and then I'll re- tell you what's happening. And you react to it however you want. I think it will be fun. Sounds good. Okay. Awesome. 
We did it. That's it. That's it. So hopefully people enjoy it here and that. Maybe get if you have any ideas for us or whatever. And well, I will unveil the setting next time and tell you what's going on. Uh, okay. Exciting. okay. That's it. Peace out. Kapow! The Pop Cultured Podcast is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Sounds, music, and clips played during the podcast are property of copyright holders. All original content is property of www.udownwithkpp.com. If you enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe and leave a comment. Kapow! The Pop Cultured Podcast can be found on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podbean, Spotify, and wherever podcasts can be found. You can connect with us through social media on Facebook, YouTube, at The Kapow Podcast on Twitter, or email the show Kapow, the Pop Culture Podcast at gmail.com. If you really want to go the extra mile, join our Patreon at patreon.com slash KPP for special content and access to Patreon-only benefits. We are grateful for anyone who chooses to contribute, but please know that most of our content will remain free. So please continue to like, comment, and share.